Boom. Hello. Been a uh, been a hot minute. I don't know what that means, hot minute, but it sounds sounds sophisticated. Um, what is it tonight? Tuesday night. I just returned from Moscow, Idaho, back to my pad in Spokane. Had a couple of days in the sunshine down there. Shout out to some of my favorite hot spots: the Lodge Pole Restaurant, the Bootser's Coffee Shop, Palouse Juice. And the fabulous Monarch Motel for being my uh, all of my offices for the past couple of days down there. Anybody ever been to, to Moscow? Moscow, Idaho? Uh, yeah, when I call people on the phone, the phone number always comes up from as Moscow. And people who don't know me, they think I am from the motherland. It's my Russian accent. Um, but it's actually Idaho. Uh, when did I start playing the guitar? I uh, actually grew up playing the violin. And then I, like, I started playing the violin when I was five. Took violin lessons until I was thirteen. Uh, no, it was later than that. I think it was like fourteen. And um, then I decided violin wasn't cool. Got an electric guitar. Played for a little while. Kind of quit in college and picked it back up a couple of years ago. So, yeah. Uh, someone else asked me, "Is that herpes?" I have no clue what you're talking about, but no, it's not herpes. This is my Hakuna Matata shirt. What a wonderful phrase. I'm going to play you guys a song, but it's not that song. Uh, and uh, let's see. What are the questions? What are the questions? You guys, I'll, I'll reply to, to a couple of questions for you. If you guys have any any burning questions. By the way, everybody's... I don't know if anybody's in the clubhouse. Any of you guys in the clubhouse? I'm, I'm getting all these invites right now to be on clubhouse. And it seems like I need another social media channel. Like I need another hole in the head. But... Uh, it's out there. It's like audio chat. See, it reminds me of like the old AOL chat rooms, if anybody remembers those, but uh, but audio. Um, someone says, oh, geez, don't say that. Uh, why am I going to kill myself? Uh, go, uh, um, let me see. Why is my hair always wet? Two people have asked. My hair's not wet. This is my hair. This, it's not wet. That's just my normal hair. It's, it's uh, perhaps oily could be the, the proper term. What do I use for wrinkles? I do a clay mask. Once, oh, what do I do? Like to get wrinkles, I laugh. <laughs> uh, but, but to get rid of wrinkles, I use a clay mask. I use the Keon Skin Serum. Clay mask once a week. Keon Skin Serum every morning and every evening. And then I dermaroll my whole face. And I use this peptide. It's an anti-aging peptide that I smear on my face called a copper peptide. G-H-K-C-U. G-H-K copper peptide. So, uh, somebody needs to shut up that guy Vinny who's on our, uh, he's saying inflammatory things. Uh, all right, well, um, I'll play you guys a little song. Someone asked me about the supplement spermidine. It's coming back around. Sper- I did a podcast about spermidine like three years ago. Uh, one of the number one sources of it is, of course, sperm. But you can also get it from fermented food, some cheeses, and now they're selling it as an anti-aging supplement. I think it's a little bit blown out of proportion, but, you know, that's that's uh, that's my take on it. So That's my take on spermidine. I interviewed uh, Naomi, girl named Naomi on my podcast about it. If you search for spermiding. Play you guys a little song. Say something, I'm giving up on you. I'll be the one if you want me to Anywhere I would have followed you Say something, I'm giving up on you So small was over my head. I know nothing at all. I stumble and fall. Might be a little high. 
with love I'm starting to crawl Say something I need to pull up the words of this song Hold on you guys One, one quick second one, quick, one hot second I should say I think I'm Okay we got them It's a little bit high But we'll just keep rolling with it Say something, I'm giving up on you I'm sorry that I couldn't get to you Say something, I'm giving up on you Say something, if you didn't know that. Um, anyways, so uh, a couple of things, a couple of announcements for this week. Um, if you didn't read uh, today's article, really interesting one on nootropics and smart drugs, I believe was the topic. Or n- not really, it was it was nootropics and smart drugs were last week. I'll be honest with you, I totally, totally misremembered. It was on... Um, pre-workout supplements, 10 different pre-workout supplements, uh, stacks. So really interesting one, like alternatives to coffee. Um, and then also, uh, some really interesting podcasts coming out this week, one on Thursday and one on Saturday. And finally, insider baseball, three different devices I've been experimenting with lately that if you're a total geek biohacker, you may want to look into that I'll hopefully do an article on soon. It's this idea that magnets carry frequencies, sound carry frequencies, and water carries frequencies. We know that these are all ways that information can be delivered to cells. I've talked in the past about the Apollo wearable, which delivers uh, an inaudible sound wave. It's a wearable. You go listen to a podcast I did on it. It's called the Apollo. You place it on the ankle or around the wrist, and it delivers this non-audible sound that you can choose a brainwave state that you want to be lulled into by that sound, like relaxation or meditation or um, uh, alertness, for example. Now, uh, for example, the social setting, it literally simulates the way you might feel if you like took a little bit of, of MDMA or THC or something like that before a cocktail party or had a glass of wine, but it simulates that same brainwave signal using an inaudible sound wave without the consumption of any substance. There's a second device. It's very similar. It does the same thing with magnets that you apply to your head or to your collar. It's called the HAP-B, H-A-P-B-E-E. They've embedded the frequencies in HAP-B with the frequencies of things like nicotine, caffeine, cannabis, uh, MDMA, like you name it. And you can choose a magnetic frequency, again, without ingesting any of those substances. 
and I'm experimenting with all these devices right now and, and they work remarkably well. And you apply it, uh, that the hat be to your head or put it under your pillow when you sleep or, or, you know, whenever, for whatever, uh, situation you want to use it for. And they've actually embedded the magnets with these frequencies. And then we know that water carries frequencies. And there's another company called Infopathy, also a wearable is the third one I'm experimenting with. What they do with that one is super interesting. They can take any compound, let's say, um, you want to control your blood sugar with Ceylon cinnamon. They'll take the frequency of Ceylon cinnamon because every plant, every animal, every cell has a certain frequency. They take that same frequency. They bombard water with that frequency. And then they take that water and pass the frequency from the water into an actual audio signal. You then plug your, uh, it's called an infopathy device. You plug it into your computer you play that signal with the device attached to you and it delivers that same signal. So you want to drop your blood sugar after a meal. You literally just plug it in, put it on your body, hit Ceylon cinnamon, and it works. This is nuts, you guys. This is like futuristic technology. That's, that's, it's so interesting to me that you can do what a compound or a supplement would do using magnets or sound or embedded water frequencies instead. And this, this is the stuff that everybody laughs at right now. And mark my words, this happens with, so this is going to sound like tooting my own horn, but it happens with like half the stuff I talk about. People laugh at it, and then 10 years later, it's like the latest, greatest science. So mark my words, we're, uh, we're at the cutting edge, you and I. So it's the, those three devices, one's called the Apollo, one's called the Half B, and one's called the Infopathy. So it's really cool. Um, all right, I'm droning on. I uh, usually go to bed like close to 9.30, go upstairs and do some reading. And uh, so I'm going to do that. And in the meantime, everybody have a wonderful, wonderful night. And uh, God bless you. May you sleep tight. Have a refreshing night of sleep. And have really high sleep.